Okay, if you're curious about this game, here's what you get. I thought it looked a little bit like Bump and Jump and Spy Hunter, but uh, it's nowhere near as fun as those games. I paid uh, 13 for it. It's probably worth 5 but I played it. Probably got my money's worth. Right now it's at version 1. It's 470 megs. It's 12 trophies with no platinum. There's 16 distinct tracks. The main mode is the Grand Prix mode. You start at grade F and work your way up to grade A. You compete in a variety of races and then you compete in the tournament which consists of four tracks. You have to get the highest points to get first place and then unlock the next level. Uh, the computer cheats uh, it's usually you versus one car, even though there's supposed to be eight cars. So whoever uh, is first or second after the first race will be the person you'll be competing with, or the computer you'll be competing with. Uh, the computer puts that player first and puts you last um, in the starting position. So it's sort of cheap, but what can you do? And once you've unlocked uh, the next level, there's an additional track that opens up here that you can go back to. There are power-ups, like oil slicks, stuff like that, but they don't really factor into the racing too much. Um, so when I finished grade B, this radiator pass struggle, it opened up. And uh, if it's anything like the other grades, um, the computer relies more on power-ups than it did in the other races. Um, so I'm in grade A right now. The vehicle that I have isn't fast enough to compete in these races but I have some money and I think I can level up my vehicle. That's the biggest problem I have with this game is uh, once your vehicle is leveled up um, you're pretty much unstoppable and there's no real challenge. There's a couple mini games as well. Car Battle which is not like Demolition Derby. <laughs> Just try to stay in the ring as long as you can. Each car has a spin move. So you try to get to the center and spin. And that's it. It's a bit of a throwaway game. Only good thing is if you manage to win, I think you get 4,000 coins. The other mini game is sort of like Super Sprint. It looks nice, but uh, it's not that fun to play. Okay, that's enough of that. Now these mini games aren't always there. I think you have to win races for them to appear. Because sometimes one would be there, two would be there, none would be there. So I'm not sure how that works. There's a manual. If you press uh, square you get a manual but you have to be online to get that manual if you're offline the manual doesn't show up um, I'll post the manual link in the description you can check out the manual if you want you can also just do the tracks for time and then you can post your times online See how you compete with the rest of the world. It's also an event, a special event. You have to have a certain car and certain car parts to compete. I don't have that car, so I can't compete in that. I'm not sure how often this changes, though. Now, I haven't played the first version of this game. But uh, I guess the main p appeal of this is that you play, you get money, and then you can buy these like capsules and they have parts. And then you could mix and match your car. I found that once you get enough um, parts for speed, you're set. So if you get a fast car like the Ferrari, um, you're going to win all the races. So each grade has different parts. I've got a hundred thousand 
I'll unlock a bunch of these, you can see the kind of things you get. Again, I, I basically went all the way to level A with just a couple cars and a couple parts. Um, you can fuse the parts, um, but I'm not quite sure how that works and I've never had to use it, so I don't think it's integral to the, the game. The manual's a little bit vague on it. I thought maybe if you fuse two V8s you get a V16, but uh, that's not the way it works. So I'm going to guess for one of these cars, in combination with one of the motors, will allow me to compete in the, uh, the final level. Okay, so that's what I got for uh, 50,000 coins. Now there's an easy way to make coins once your car is fast enough. Go to grade B, go to Rising Sign Cup. Uh, it's 500 bucks to 500 coins to enter, and if you win, you get 4,000. And that is an easy race to win. So you can make lots of money pretty quick if you want to. Now in the garage, you can uh, have up to four cars on your short list. You can edit them whenever you want. These are the cars that I got from the last uh, last go. So that car isn't better than the one I have, but. Uh, You can tweak it. Now these accessories, they give you temporary boosts. They all, uh, well my experience is they all seem to wear out. So I think they wear out after, um, so this one will wear out after five races. Um, but Again, I didn't find them that necessary. I used the uh, Ferrari car and I pretty much won most of the races. I'll show you a race and then uh, That'll be it. You can configure the buttons. Um, I've got circle is accelerate, R1 is drift, L1 is a special power. Sometimes the car will have a special power like oil slick. Um, I didn't find that I had to use those very much. So if you have a fast car, once you get ahead of the pack, you're pretty much guaranteed a win. But like I said, as of right now, I'm sort of stuck at uh, grade A. So I just have to uh, get the right parts to get a faster car, and then I'll be all right.
and that's it and that's 4,000 coins right there so you do that a few times you get some money pretty fast it's okay if you got 13 bucks to spare you'll have some fun with it I guess but uh, you could probably do better for 13